Hello students. Today I will discuss about the expansion of gas. We know that the characteristics of a gas depends on three parameters: pressure, volume, and temperature. Sometimes we see the change of pressure keeping the volume volume constant with respect to temperature. Sometimes we see the change of volume. with respect to temperature keeping pressure constant that's why there are two gamma two coefficients one is at constant pressure and another is at constant volume we will try to understand this gamma p and gamma v and i will try to establish a relation between them here gamma p gamma p when p is constant volume is changing with temperature so it is vt minus v0 by v0 t and gamma v when v is constant then pressure is obviously changed so pt minus p0 by p0 t obviously pt means the pressure at t degree celsius and p0 is the pressure at 0 degree celsius and t is the change in temperature and vt and v0 accordingly that now i have drawn a chart to understand the situation at 0 degree celsius let the pressure is p0 and volume is v0 this is the initial condition now for the final condition once i will change means final condition is at t degree celsius but pressure here is changed volume is not changed so pt and volume is v0 and third condition third condition is Again, temperature is changed from initial, but here pressure is not changed. It is P naught, and the volume is changed. It is V T. Therefore, second and third case both are at T degree Celsius. We can apply Boyle's law, and we know P one V one is equal to P two V two, and here will be P T V naught. P T V naught is equal to P naught V T. P naught V T. Instead of P one V one P two V two, it will be P naught. Pt V naught is equal to P naught V T. Now I have written here. Pt V naught is equal to P naught V T. Now Pt by P naught is equal to Vt by V naught. Take minus one uh, from both sides, and it will be Pt minus P naught by P naught is equal to Vt minus V naught by V naught. Now multiply with T at the denominator both sides, and therefore it is gamma V is equal to gamma P. Therefore, the result is gamma gamma. When it is p, remember change in p then gamma v. So gamma v is equal to gamma p. That is the result. Okay. So uh, here we can understand that they are equal. Uh, they are equal. Gamma v is equal to gamma p, and gamma v is that value. Gamma p is that value for the gases. Hope you have understood try to subscribe my channel and give like wherever is possible thank you